Welcome back, everybody, to Insert Coin. I am Nick. I am Dave. And, and today we're playing Fatal Frame again. Yay. Fatal Frame. The fucking game that we wait until it's dark outside oh, and then turn the lights off to this. play. I don't like this. Oh, uh, she gets, like, stuck sometimes. Yeah, really she gets stuck around wrong. corners. I, I think... Uh, I Again, really hope that doesn't happen when a ghost is trying to fuck with us. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing so this is where I need to go. I'm just, I just yeah, just, around. Run, just faff about. Yeah, I'm just faffing about. Um. So, last time we were talking about, or I was sort of scatterbrained talking about how video games, like horror... Look at that dynamic camera angle. <laughs> How horror is not very good these days, and the like reliance on storytelling that is just lacking. Um, I guess it'd be a good time to bring up examples. No, but I mean, when you say storytelling, do you mean like the story has to be compelling? Like, are you talking about like Silent yeah? Hope I think it has to bring you into it. Is that what I mean? Now, when you're talking about when I, like when I say what makes a good horror game, is that like what do you consider a good horror game? Like, what are the qualities a, a horror game has to have to be considered good? Um, well, first off, it has to genuinely be scary. In an unset, in my opinion, it has to be scary in an unsettling nature. What the fuck is this doing under a mansion? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt again, but like, we're in a goddamn stone temple. Maybe it's locked. Nope. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So, um, just got him. A mask with stakes in it appears at the pillar next to the door. Good. Sweet. I thought that was another ghost. Beyond the door is the rituals. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. All right, so... So, you were you asked, uh... Just what are the took a picture of that. N I know, but... Oh, oh, oh okay. Um, That's fucking creepy. Oh, so, first off, it has to be... I think that... Good horror is unsettling. Uh, you know what? I, I, and I actually, I don't think I'm as qualified to talk on this as many other people are. If anybody has ever not heard of extra credits, please go check them out. They did actually a great short segment on Shit. horror, and you better start fighting. Some of their stuff. Oh, come on! Not this bitch again! Get the fuck off my D. Off my V. Also, what sucks? We have not been able to save. Ah, recently. damn it! Fuck, we're dead. We weren't able to and save. So, recently. see, like, okay, and like, that's a game over. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing crazy about that. It's just like. Yeah, it sucks. No, I, I get it. Ah, fuck. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, you die, you die. Life, life goes on. Well, <laughs> what an ironic statement. I guess so. <laughs> if you die, you die, but life goes on. <laughs> um, Ooh, spoopy. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, oh, now low down. Oh, oh, no. Oh, thanks. We have to do the puzzle. Thanks, thanks for the puzzle, because now do the puzzle again. Oh, now you can snap this guy, though, because you know he's coming up. Bro's yeah, bro, uh, I like dude, what bro's, a bro. bro's shadow. He's like, oh hello, let's go get wasted. That's my bro voice. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Oh, man. Look at my shadow. It's not even a shadow; it's a ghost, in my opinion. Oh, but fuck this. All right, we're gonna we'll cut back when we're finished with this or something. Yeah. Like fuck. All right. So. What if I got it? What if that was it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you moved. No, you moved the left one up first. Right. Then you moved this one no. over. No. This one over. Yeah. Now and this one down. Um. And then no. no. It was no no. Pre this press one. You yeah, move that one and up. Then this one down. Yeah. Now and this move one. That one up. Up. Yeah. Move that this one, one over. That way and that, that one, one that one. Up. I don't even think we need to cut that out. No. Okay. Uh, 30 fucking seconds. All right. Nailed it. Nailed it. 
Did um, super well. Now, fuck this. I'm going back and saving so we don't have to do that again. Sorry. We yeah. will cut this out or at least speed it up. Yeah, we'll probably do a nice little montage of her skiing. I guarantee that, that uh, this hallway will be back with a vengeance. Yeah. Um, you know what? <sighs> okay, so... Okay, so... We got really derailed from our yeah. conversation here. So, okay... Um, it's, so you think mostly you still haven't said so, what you think is the actual like what makes a good game and what makes a scary game like considered what do you consider a good scary game again uh, okay so the game has to not do some sort of bullshit popping out at you they you have to be in it for the long haul it, to make a scary game you have to you have to, from the ground up, build the atmosphere and build everything to be unsettling. Yeah. Not to be, not to set up to, oh, I turned the corner and a monster jumped out and attacked me. The problem with... Not to say that that's not a bad... It, it's not always bad to do that. It has its merit, but not... like it, I skipped this cutscene, I'm sorry, guys. That's fine, we already saw it. Um, um, so it, it has its merit... But it does not have its merit if you continue. If you only do that, you just you're stuck. You're stuck. Uh, if you only do that, I don't think that there is a reason for. It gets it gets frustrating. Like it's not like frustrating. I shouldn't it's say just, that. It's just annoying. It, yeah. It, it lessens the it's, value. It's like yeah. it's like oh okay now I know so it's like I'm on edge because I know something's going to be jumping out at me, but that doesn't mean I'm scared. It means I'm my reactions are good. Yeah, um, I guess I could liken it. We could liken it to the the M Night twists, plot twists, which you always know there is just a plot twist that turns the story upside down. And if you guess something that's a ridiculous plot twist in one of his movies, you're probably right. You probably just guessed the entire movie. Um, like seriously. Um, so I think the problem with games, uh, like, uh, unfortunately, maybe unpopular opinion here, Resident Evil, and... Alright, I'm dipping, I'm running. Well, you I'm, gotta take a picture of that I'm gonna thing, try to get, she's here. I know, but I'm gonna try to get up this ladder first, so I have time to, like, run, you know? Climb, climb, fucking climb, you bitch. I don't see how that hurt me. What are you going to do now? Hacks. Climb faster, you fucker! Ah, uh, this game's upset at you. Uh-huh. Right, you yeah, you I was going to say, she's going to fuck you up. You're gonna oh, have I to have no idea this. what's going on. You're going to have to reload this. Nope. Don't I have shit? You have water. Yep, that's what you I want to do. I water. hate this ghost, too, because it's just this, that scream over and over again. Like, yeah. This has now gone from spoopy to annoying. It's still, like, it. again, it's it's unsettling to me. Oh, like, fuck. It gives me bits of chills. Come on! You totally got that. Look at oh. that. It's fucking a quarter, over almost a quarter of my health. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say it's closer to a third. Of your health was just fucking wrecked, and then it disappears and she reappears right in fucking front of you, or something, and like and then you're fucked anyway. Yep. Yep. Couldn't even see it. No way I could have seen it. Cause she just appears somewhere. I'm sure there like is a way. I'm sure we're missing something like really necessary to be doing this. This is back. Oh, in the, okay. Uh, only, only the red candles are lit. Is that over back in the? Yeah, but Japanese. now you gotta take a picture of that thing down there. Yeah. Still. Good. Fucking. Maybe they can give us some water or something. Be a little bit more forgiving with the game. Yeah. Matchboxes. Oh, cool. Huh, I I I think I might that know what to do with those. Uh, and it would be to light the candles. Yeah. Um. Oh my God! Climb faster! Come on! Just jump down. Actually, don't jump down. That's like a probably a twelve foot drop. <laughs> yeah, it's twice her size. But yeah, she's to be fair, she's feet. yeah, she's probably only like four ten or something. 
Good. God. Okay, so... What... So, okay, so you have to, like... Okay, so I'm, I'm, I feel like most people would agree that jump scares aren't necessarily what is the scary. Like, that's uh, like it's ch that's cheap thrills, and you, you yeah, know? You, so you need to build a... You need to build a world around scary. You need to do what is known... You need to go into what is known as the Uncanny Valley, which, for those of you who don't know, this is way too much meat to cover in I mean, the Google, next... Yeah, Google's going to be your friend. I mean... Yeah, like... But the Uncanny Valley essentially is uh, something that's mostly described uh, and sometimes incorrectly described as what is done when animation goes too far and tries to replicate Fuck. humans. I'm getting a pulse, meaning there's probably a ghost nearby. Yeah, probs. Um, I'm getting out of here, though. Fuck you. There's probably so something in here. So, tries now. to replicate humans, but really poor like so so well that it would be good if not for that one little thing yeah, the that closer you get to perfection the more we're real like we're likely to realize that something's wrong yeah and it's it, it makes you it either weird. have to be 100 percent perfection or you have, you to, have to go back. for stylized all right anyway so what well, we will pick this conversation up we'll try to actually maybe like do reach a something. calm part and maybe have like a serious discussion on this because I'm interested in hearing what you actually have to say about it. All right. But we'll have to wait until next time. Yeah. Thanks so. for joining us, guys. Yep. See you next time. See you.